Hi, everybody. So, I am going to the library this afternoon to drop off some books, and I wanted to provide an update on my reading um, and post some reviews for you today. And then the next group of books I'm picking up today are A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik, The Do-Over by Lynn Painter, and The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. So the first book I wanted to talk about today is Dial A for Aunties by Jesse Q. Santanto. Um, so this is a book about a girl who is accused with killing a blind date of hers. And she calls her aunts in for reinforcements for like um, helping her solve the murder and clear her name. So... Um, the family dynamic in this book kind of reminds me of um, Turning Red, the Pixar movie that is set in Canada, 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 because um, um, these characters are from Indonesia and those characters are Chinese and Canadian. And they have, like, a big family with a lot of aunts. And, like, this family has, this family has, like, the same amount of aunts in it that May's family does in Turning Red. And I just love the family dynamic between each of the aunts and the main girl, Medi, because, um... They just have really good chemistry with each other throughout the story. I gave this book four stars on Goodreads, and I highly recommend it. The next movie, the, yeah, the next book I want to talk about is Things That We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. In this book, um, a girl named Naomi leaves, leaves her wedding to go help her sister, who in return ends up stealing her car and her identity and leaving with her, her, with her niece that she doesn't even know she had. Her niece is 11-year-old Wele, and she is my favorite character because she has a lot of fun, quick-witted, sassy lines. Um, and the, the, the romance in this book is between Naomi and the police officer. His name is Knox. This town, this is set in a fictional town of Virginia called Knockamout. So I'm excited to read the next two books in this trilogy because I'm excited to see the character development between Knox and Naomi and Wele. The next book I wanted to talk about is The Holdover from my holiday reading list, Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. The plot in this book is very similar to All I Want for Christmas, where... Um, the main characters are two musicians who are competing against each other um, on a TV show, and they are enemies to lovers, but they're also trying to save the TV show they're on because it's the reunion for the show that their parents were in or something, and, like, the the, uh, the, the parents were very competitive, too, so... There's a lot riding on their relationship working out, and I'm not going to spoil anything that happens. So in case you want to read to the book yourself, you can find out. The next book is part of the Entangled with Fae series, which is a modernized version of fairy of Disney fairy tales with fairies incorporated into them. I love this series. Sarah Caroli recommended it on her YouTube channel. I have read pretty much the whole series except for the book on Snow White. This book is based on Cinderella. It's called Heart of the Raven Prince. And the cool thing about this book is that Princess Maisie, who is the princess in the Little Mermaid retelling, the Kiss of the Selkie, makes a cameo in this book as somebody who switches places with the main character, Ember, to go to the ball to dance with Prince Franco. So I really love the creativity behind this series and... It's it's really very good. Um, so I ranked, I believe I gave all of the books that I have read in this series so far four stars or five stars. So yes, please check out this series. It's called Entangled with Faye. 
Um, the next book I wanted to talk about is called Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. This is the second book in the Lunar Chronicle series, which is basically um, fairy tales set in 2100s China, wh where it's a dystopian future. Cinderella is a cyborg, and this crossover book is between Little Red Riding Hood and Cinderella, and, um, Red Riding Hood befriends the wolf, who is a street fighter, which is a really cool concept, because, like, obviously, in Little Red Riding Hood, the wolf eats the grandmother, and that's the whole crux of the fairy tale, but what's different about the, in this fairy tale retelling is that the grandmother actually gets kidnapped and the wolf is actually helping Little Red Riding Hood to find her again. No spoilers here. You have to read the book yourself. It's best to read the books in order. Not like I'm doing. I've read them a little bit out of order because they didn't come in at the library all at once. Um, so this book gets four stars and a B+. Plus. And finally, I wanted to talk about Heartless, which is by the same author as the... Lunar Chronicle series. Heartless is a re is a origin story of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Um, and I think it's really cool. Like in this book, her name is Catherine and she's a baker and sh she is, her hand is betrothed to the king of hearts but she actually is in love with the court gesture so there's a little bit of a competitive romance dynamic there and again no spoilers but the relationship between the court gesture and Catherine, who is the queen of hearts is really really sweet and that's my favorite quote on page 360 let me find it Okay, I can't find it right now, but I'll and I'll have to find it later. So, um, thank you for tuning into this brief reading update. Um, I was originally going to split up the reviews of these books, but since I have to return them to the library today, I figured it was just easier to review them all at once, so I wouldn't have to split up the reviews. So my next. My next TBR update will probably be later this weekend. And I will see you guys then. Have a great week. Have a great weekend.